All right then. I probably should set up a scene for just talking. However, I haven't yet because I don't generally just do talking streams. I don't have too much to talk about. Um, so I'm going to be setting up the gameplay right now. I need to change the capture. This is my first time launching the game at all, so... There we are. Code vein. There. Now then. Yes, as I alluded to in a couple of my previous tweets, there are various updates that have yet to happen. I have not found my glasses yet. Oh, this is, might be a bit too loud. It's loud in my headphones. And it is just about matching my voice. I'm gonna drop that down a bit. Yes, I speak English. Uh, I read all of that. I do actually like to read these things, but I'd like to get this out of the way as quickly as possible. I don't know that that's feasible. Is my eyesight just too good? I don't want to play with brightness 29. No, that's ridiculous. I'm just going to set it back to the standard. That's fine. Oh, I didn't know that there were updates in this. I assumed it would be more like Dark Souls. Revenant? What is... Okay. I don't, I don't quite understand the point of that one. I mean, I understand the point of it. There's a whole bunch of information that they are telling me. Oh. Customizable heights. Interesting. I wonder why that wasn't in the... My goodness. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, God Eater. I tried playing that once. I like Monster Hunter, so I might go back and give God Eater another try. I can't, like, hear myself think right now. The music is far too loud. Gestures. Okay, I'm... There we go. Hmm. I think I'll be playing offline. I typically enjoy playing the Dark Souls games offline my first go-through. So I'm going to assume that the same will hold true here. Okay, now... Sound settings. Let's... Drop everything down to... Half. In fact, half might still even be too loud. Let's drop it a bit more. Oh. I pressed X, but it didn't actually go back. I had to click it. Interesting. Okay. Now then. Hmm. I wonder if I should be using a controller for this. No. I'll get in game and see what needs changing. Alright then. I will begin. I think I'll begin. There we are. Good morning. Hey, can you hear me? Ah, uh, I wonder if there are language options. Search your memory for an image of yourself. Can I... Can I check that now? No? I cannot... I cannot switch the language to Japanese until the intro cutscene is over? That is very unfortunate. Oh well. It doesn't sound 
bad at all, honestly. Let's see. I'm assuming this should be my full name. Mm. Mm. I, I didn't get the chance to read that. Oh, it's too long. Also, I can't select in the center of it. You can tell that this was a game that was designed for consoles. Code name. I mean, I don't... Okay. It doesn't seem like there's any... What is the differentiation between these? Oh, are you not supposed to be able to see my name? Is this like a password setup? I'm very confused. They're just both going to be Barleyone. Oh, did it not like that? There we go. I had to hit enter for it. It'll be a mail. Okay, now, for the, for the real question, can my skin be green? There's a whole host of different anime boys that you can be. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Okay. Skin tone, no, there isn't. I was hoping for an RGB slider. Let's see. The blue-brown lighter shades sort of become greenish. Hmm. I think maybe dark blue is the closest I'm going to get. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to stick with dark blue. Okay. Physique. Um, I'm not incredibly tall, but I'm not short either. I wish this would give me a uh, comparison for for real world. Real height comparison, whether meters or feet. Body type. Okay. How wide do you want the... the field of view to be on your character? I will stick with A. Uh, there we go. Raise the height a little bit. What does this do? Hmm. I'm not particularly physically strong. I do have a fairly broad torso. Let's go with 12. Head size, you can stay. I don't want to mess with that. Goodness knows what would happen. All right. And then, let me zoom back in, please. Oof, this is very fiddly. How do I move? No. Is there a way to move vertically? Ah. Why is that reversed? Why is why does S move upwards? That seems very counterintuitive. All right, back to hair. Let's see. I would like to match my appearance as well as possible. Let's see. This one. 
seems to be fairly similar. Oh, that's not what I left on. Hmm. Yeah, so these ones are a bit too three-dimensional. My hair is fairly flat to my head. Oh my. What a look. There's quite a few options. Very good customization. Oh, I'll stick with this. Oh. Interesting. I didn't see an option for extensions. I wonder if that's somewhere else. My hair is black. What does this do? Ah, interesting. I may as well add a little bit of purple into it. Let's see. What does this do? Interesting. I imagine on other hairstyles this would change uh, differently. What does this hair shine? What does maximum shine look like? Looks like I have a bucket of hair gel in. I quite like it, actually. I'll keep that. Faces. Oh my. Hmm. This one's resonating with me. Ugh, the facial structure just completely changes on that one. Alright. Eyes. By the way, I hope... I hope there is no illusions that I was going to do this quickly. Oh. I do love the dead eyes. Yeah. But my eyes... are more similar to this. Ooh, fly eyes. That's unique. These are very interesting eyes. Why can't all games have eye customization to this extent? Or I could be from Naruto. No, I think I will stick with this style. Ooh. I can actually alter this. Well then. Perfect. Let's see. This is an orange color. Incredible. What is this? Oh, it's just the highlights. I'll give it a little bit of red then. Perfect. Well, they got my skin color correct. Or, they didn't get my skin color correct, but they did get my eyes. Oh, then. The amount of detail in eyes alone is astounding. Hmm. I do like the effect that rings produce, sort of like ring light, or I could be a Goku. That is very amusing. I think I will take one of the rings. Probably that one. Ah. Ah. Interesting. That is amazing. My pupils are somewhat slanted. Or not slanted, but uh, cat-eyed. Hmm. Eye proportions. That's around right. Vertical position. Ah, of the iris. 
Oh, that is a very particular face. That seems good. Oh, it can't be comedically so. Unfortunate. Hmm, back to default. That one was fine to to begin with. Oh, I probably should have just named this stream Five Hours of Character Customization. Now yeah, then. Hmm. I was checking a notification that went off on my phone. Hmm. Oh. Ah, it's all of the different styles of eyebrows as well as various different positions that they can be in. Interesting. I just noticed how far the scroll wheel went. I was astounded. Hmm. Well, time to go back up. I think I saw something that was somewhat accurate. Yes. I think this sort of eyebrow? No, it curves down at the end, not in the center. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll keep looking. There we are. This, uh, but I don't want that sort of expression constantly. But I do want this type of eyebrow. I'd, I'd ra oh, how horrifying. Okay, so that probably means that it was further up and I simply missed it. Because I can't imagine that the only way you can get that style of eyebrow... ...somewhat similar to that... ...is by being constantly bemused. Hmm. No, it potentially might be. I didn't see anything similar. Well... Hmm. This is probably the closest. But I don't like the way that it looks. Hmm. Uh-oh, no. That one's just about right. No, the eyebrows are the same color. Alright then. Makeup. Oh my. I do, I do think particularly thick eyelashes can look, oh, can look good. I don't think I'm going to go this detailed though. No, not for me. No, thank you. Hmm. Maybe just on the base. Yes, mild eyelashes on the base. That seems good. Eyeliner. No, I don't want to be too detailed in there. I don't have any scars, but I'd like to see what they... Is this it? You can have two... Okay, no, it's not. I thought you had an option between two scars. You have all this other customization, but only two scars. That would have been ridiculous. No, I will... I'll leave that as is. I simply wanted to see the possible options. Ah, accessories. I've heard that... Oh, this is highly customizable. So, I would like to be able to add in my horn. It appears... Oh no, that's just hats. Ah, well, I may not have my glasses in real life. But I can always put them on my character. And I 
hope there's some customizability. Mm, I prefer that one. Okay, so now... We have a purple rim. Darker purple than this. Here we are. Very dark. There. What color is this affecting? Ah, the interior. See, I don't know that there's anything specific. I will simply stick with black, though. Alright. Hmm. Ah, this is where additional hair customization comes in. I knew it existed. Ah, but I do have slightly shorter. Uh, my goodness. Uh, but I do have one of these. Set it to black. Slightly off black. Oh, huh, interesting. Let's just give it a bit of light purple at the end. Hmm. Here we are. That looks fine. Alright, no backpack to speak of. I do wear gloves. Move down to the hands. See, just full gloves. Nothing fancy. Mm. More like this. Yes. They do cover down to my wrist, but the ones that do that in the character creation are a bit too thick. I wear fairly thin gloves. And they are black, so they can stay as is. Let's see, no collars or chokers for me. Or no, what is this? Oh, they're belts. Or they're arm belts, specifically. Alright. Hmm. I might have to have a nail sticking out of my head. Mm, that's not quite right. My horn is a bit longer than that. And thinner. I wonder if there's a way to edit it, though. I, I do remember... seeing some footage that allowed for the editing. Yes. No? No, um... Yes, I do want it on the face. However, I would like to move it so that it is off to the side. Hmm. 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 Plaid horn. There's no matte color. Metallic. Glow. Oh. Interesting. No, I, I don't particularly want the glowing horn. That's fine. Metallic horn looks ridiculous. Oh, there are flat colors here as well. 
Let's see. Sort of this, this shade. Hmm. I was under the impression that you could relocate this. Or this type of accessory. Hmm. Advanced editing. That. Where is that? Editing mode. Uh huh. Yes, there we are. Alright, so if I do this, I need to move it here. So that's about right. It's too thick, though. My horn is fairly thin. Oh. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Let's see if I do this. No. I think I am going to want to take a nail and shove it into my head. That seems to be the easiest way to achieve a horn. Yeah. Alright then. No. Ugh. Editing. Please move to the. Uh, it's through my nose. Okay, advanced editing. Now then. There must be a way to rotate it. Here we are. Now, if I reduce the size. Bit more straight up. Hmm. Okay, this is looking good. Now, if I edit the color. There was color editing. Ah, oh, it's in the previous menu. Never mind. So, a bit smaller than that. Here we are. Right, that looks about correct. So now, I want to change the color. Let's see, it only fades to purple at the top. Perhaps this color? This is probably the best that I'm going to get. Because it's a very faded purple, and the colors up higher are a bit too bright. So that'll have to do. Now then, are there any more specific accessories that I'm not particularly thinking of at this point? Ah, yes, my tail. Uh, not that kind of tail. Hmm. Is there really no demon tails in a game about vampires? That seems unlikely. Hmm. Well then. My tail is black up until the point where it turns into a tip purple tip. So it's not perfectly matte black. It is sort of dulled. Sort of this color. That'll have to do. Hmm. 
unfortunately there is no demon tail for some reason. Seems like an odd exclusion. Now then. Comparatively to me, somewhat similar. Not too bad. Then, is there any final adjustments? I don't wear a hat, so nothing is needed there. No monocles, no sleeping masks, no necklaces. Hair is all set. I don't have a backpack. My gloves are on. No necklace. Unless there's a bow tie. Or no, that's arm braces. Never mind. Yes, I think I am... All set. Why is... Why does that exist? Although that is right around where my rose is. Is there a rose option? There is, but it's a hat specific. I wonder if it can be moved to the chest. Well, I will see about clothing first. Hmm. Nothing quite fits my style. I suppose I'll go with this then. It seems to be the best. Because the rest of them have... This is the... Probably the closest. I don't like the open chest. That one's too casual. That one's far too casual. This one's too battle-oriented. This one makes me look like I'm Cloud Strife. I like the colors. But it's a sweatshirt. So this one seems like the most... Appropriate... It's the simplest. Ah. You can edit the colors. Well then. I think I may stick to the base uniform. Now then. My suit is a very dark purple. But not... Not so dark that it doesn't show. Sort of that color. And what is this? Ah, the pants. My pants are gray. Perhaps a warm gray would suit it better? Something like that. And then, what are these extra details? Ah, the undershirt area. I'd like that to be the same color as this. A jacket. Hmm. Although perhaps having it in a flatter black might be a more interesting contrast. Yes, I think I'll do that. This character customizer is incredibly interesting. What about my cuffs? Hold on a second. Hmm. I don't have any cuffs. That's so just the interior of the suit, then. Let's see. I'll just set it to a light gray. I'm starting to get impatient with myself. I'd like to start this game sooner. I'll set that to the same color as the suit. Ah, and this is the true interior here. Let's see. Hmm. I'll go with a fairly striking white. This doesn't have to be 100% accurate. Ah, but it's also the collar as well, so you can see it from the back. 
Hmm. Oh no, it's not. It's the cuff color that's doing that. Ah, oh, I see. Well then. I'm afraid you're being co-opted by the color of the suit. I don't make the rules. Well, I do. Which means the interior can stick with cold gray. Now then, what type of mask? Hmm. I like this one. I prefer the symmetry of it. And then, let's get a closer look. Nope. I still don't understand my up and down... Where W is down and S is up. Who made that decision? Ah. Now I believe this is on all the time. Hmm. I do like this one. I'll stick with that. Alright. Let's go. Lead the way. Oh. Nope. I would like I would can I can I change the voices now? No? Okay. Victory is out. Oh god no. Blessed. What? Hmm, maybe three? Not bad. God is looking out for me. Cheer up. This isn't over yet. These things happen, right? Mm hmm I don't have a very good handle on my own Find voice. An and grab it. Damn you! God! Sorry, but this one's mine. I'll pray mm. for your success. Not bad. There's no way that's happening. Hmm. Let's take this easy. <laughs> I hate being in someone's debt. Damn! This isn't working! Ah, that's it. Successful guard greeting. It seems our fates are linked. Yo! Oh, it's you! I hope we find something good. Well, let's do this. What's up? Shall we be off? Hey, how are you? All right, let's move. Hi. I'm counting on you. Howdy. Mm. Hey. Let's make this time count. Hey, we meet again. Let's take this easy. Well, let's do this. Hmm. I wish I had someone that I was able to ask right now. Which of these matches me most closely? Hey, let's take this easy. Hmm. Nice to see you. Hmm. I'm thinking four. What's up? Hey, you doing? Let's make this time. Shall we be off? Oh, you're a familiar face. Oh, our fates must be. Oh, good to see you. Hello. I'm going to stick with four. All right, then. I believe it should be everything. There. All right. Now then. Ah. I, I do wish... I had more selection on my skin color, but this will have to do. All right. Yeah, that's what you look like. Now, we can finally meet. All right, hopefully... W mo oh, why am I not wearing the clothes that I picked out? What happened? Also, what is this? It's the bonfire, I see. Uh, I swear you look different. Is this because of an event that's going on? Revenant. There are things you will need to know in your new life. 
So listen well. Is this not the girl in the promotional image? The best way to learn about it is to try it for yourself. Hmm. Okay, like Bloodborne, it does not pause. Alright. Where is the blood code, then? Shortcuts. Nothing. Queen Slayer. That probably has some specific lore implication. But where is the... Ah. It's the very center option. I see. Endurance for melee combat. Can you change these on the fly? Hmm. Interesting. My weight is high. That is a fighter blood code, which is excellent for combat. Each talent that a blood code bestows is known as a gift. The fighter blood code grants ever-increasing endurance. It seems you also have a gift that temporarily enhances your attack power. Try it out. Hmm. Also... I now have the options here. Settings? Ah. Uh, Alright. Hmm, actually. I'm going to do what is commonly known as a pro gamer move. Change that language. There we are. Oh, that did save. Yes, it did. All right. There we go. Now things are as they should be. How fancy. My computer hiccuped a little bit while that was happening. Okay, I've already heard these. I switched to Japanese only to skip straight through the dialogue. Okay. Why are these assigned? This is obviously a D-pad configuration. Interesting. Well, oh, I might as well put it on off. It's required. Acre cost. What is acre? Is it the, the white bar above health? The F keys? Shift plus the F keys. Was shift plus the number keys already taken? That seems ridiculous. I won't be able to do that quickly in combat. Number keys, maybe. Can I rebind those immediately? It already says it's on the numbers. Alright. Well, shouldn't that just be two, then? Wait a second. I have to press 2 and then F3? Okay. 
That's not usable. It also looks like that healing is down on the directional pad. Okay. Alt is guard. That's also not usable. Okay. I'm gonna have to move some of these bindings around. Switch weapon is up on the directional pad. That is... This was not designed by someone who knows how to do this, was it? Okay. Well. That is a deceptively short range. I need to be right up against this guy. Ah, the white bar is my stamina. I wish it was displayed more prominently. I don't remember how Dark Souls does it. I know one of the gimmicks of this game. Hmm. I know one of the gimmicks of the game is the NPCs that always help you. The sword? The hammer isn't, but I'm holding the sword right now. Ah, I guess even the sword is too heavy. Alright. Shift control. How many fingers do they think I have? Ah. So you get a bloodborne dash when you're in this class. And I see. The strong attack is gun. Which is far louder than anything else. Oh. Alright, I'm trying to use the drain. Is that only on enemies that are staggered? Hmm. Well, I failed the tutorial. 
How unfortunate. No, I didn't. I didn't learn. I wasn't taught how to do it. All right, then. That's an interesting way to phrase it. Oh no. ブラッドショットは威力より射程を優先した連結なのそうね他の連結を習得してみましょうか宿り着に触れることで連結を習得することができるわ探してみてオッケー I'm going to attempt to rebind the controls immediately Yeah. Yeah, this is This was not designed for human hands. Wait. And then what? Yeah. Why do gifts have their own menu separate from this? Right. Well then. Left should be one. Up should be two. Right should be three. And down should be four. Yeah, so that makes sense. But anything further than four... Seems like an awful stretch to go to mid combat. Hmm. Perhaps I should get my controller, although I don't have too many USB ports that aren't already taken up by something. This could pose a very serious problem. Controls in this game are not optimized for keyboard. Well then. Guard. Alright, dash is shift. I wonder if I can set dash to a toggle and put that on alt. Or control, rather. Ah, uh, that's why I was pressing... Control shift when I was trying to use the blood drain or whatever it was. And then guard can become shift. And then lock on. Middle mouse. Ah, that's already the secondary input. Weak attack and strong attack. Control left click is drain. I don't remember even learning that one. Dodge is space. I'm fine with that. Parry is C. I'd prefer it not be C. I'd prefer it be something easier to hit. Hmm. Depending on how often I parry, I might make it mouse button 4. Field menu is escape. Is anything actually bound to E right now? Oh, yes, and this. Ah. Okay. So. Hold on. If I... No. 
It looked like the scroll wheel was potentially already set to switch weapons. Hmm. This should probably be something that's done off stream. Oh, it's up plus. That's not. There we are. Switch weapon. Okay, it is just scroll up now. Use item. Okay, I need to see if anything is bound to E. Did they not bind a single... That's the easiest button to press. The easiest. And it's not bound to anything, not even parry. Who designed this? These are unusable. Right, oh. Up is two. Left is one. Down. What was that? Down is four. Right is three. That makes sense in my mind. Um, and I guess I just won't use any gifts beyond the first four because it's far too difficult. Alright, now. What should I put on E? Because it's just far too simple not to. Perhaps parry? Hmm. The only other from software game that I've played on PC with mouse and keyboard is Sekiro. So I'm trying to remember what the controls used in that were. For parry, it was right mouse click. But that's taken up by strong attack. I think for parry... Put it on mouse four. Field menu, that's fine. Gift menu. Is, is that not shift? Isn't shift dodge? Or no, space is dodge. Parry is that. Gift menu. Wait, what is, is shift not bound to anything then? Oh. I feel defeated. Okay. Scrolling the mouse now changes the weapon. That is strong attack. That is weak or weak attack and strong attack. That is parry. That is a very long parry animation. Ah, use item. If I scroll down, that does not use an item. Okay. Use item should probably be assigned to E. Let's see. This is probably the least enjoyable thing to watch right now. Let's see. Use item. E. Okay, it did work. Let's see, let's let's try and remove one of those so that it doesn't have the very weird input telling me how to use it. Let's see, if I do this and then press R. Ah, that removed everything. Well, I'll just put an E then. There we are. Now I won't think to shift scroll down to try and use it. Hmm. Okay, now what did it want me to learn? I think it was Blazing Roar. Well, that's the only one that I can, so that's probably what it is. Act 
active. Interesting. Max out profit. What does that mean? Use haze and certain materials to max out your proficiency with gifts, unlocking the ability to inherit them. Doing so enables you to use them even with different blood codes equipped. I mean, not particularly, I don't even know what it does. I think the game wants me to. Oh, well, I guess it doesn't. All right. ダメージを与えられる強力な連結よ。その分、消耗する名血の量も多いから使うタイミングは間違えないようにしてね。それと装備する画像によって威力が変わったりもするの。使用する連結の特性、画像との相性、少し複雑だけど。Ah, uh, you're frozen in place while you use it. Ah, it's on a cooldown. I see. I don't mind that playstyle. あなたは自身のブラッドコードを失った特別な存在。だからこそ無限の可能性がある。ブラッドコードの切り替えだけじゃなく、新たなブラッドコードを取り込むことのできるはず。人の力を自分のものにする。これは。I do quite like the system of taking power from your defeated foes. Very similar to the Monster Hunter style of defeat the monsters in order to craft weapons from their bodies. Okay, that was the face that I was expecting to see. I thought she was the tutorial NPC. Not that I'm particularly complaining, but she could use some new clothes. Those don't seem to be holding up so well. Oh my, she's wearing even less than I realized. Uh, this does seem to be more similar to the uh, Monster Hunter style of things. So I wonder if you can put a new outfit on her, because that does not leave much to the imagination. I'm 
not moving particularly quickly. No, no, we are going slowly, don't you worry. Hmm. This must be the first time during an escort mission where your escort walks many times faster than you can. How do you know that? I thought you didn't remember anything. I guess you are the tutorial, or the lore tutorial, rather. So you should be expected to know everything. Oh my. Who is they? Is that a question I'm supposed to be asking? going through my glove? I don't... I don't see how that drew blood at all. I may be fairly cantankerous. That's just how I am. So this just functions in a feedback loop. This is the second time I've gotten a lap pillow from this lady in barely a couple minutes. I just get all tuckered out after eating. I'm an infant. Oh, I guess I am sort of an infant. <laughs> <laughs> ah, she's so confused. Oh, it's nice to see that they left us together and let me keep sleeping on her lap. Oh, I sort of assumed I would be walking. So I guess that's not a purely vampire thing, the masks. What are the masks for? Oh. Can, can I talk? I guess they can. Better, I chose it. Okay, so it stops you from hollowing. Got it. Why, though? Does it pre is it to prevent you from biting people? Alright, time for exposition. Oh, 
あ、ウェイ、アイガスだっ気に食うな話だよな。うん。俺たちは死ぬたび多かれ少なかれ記憶を失っちゃう。大抵は大したもんじゃないんだろうが、失ったことにも気づけやしない。ま、今のお前さんみたいなのは珍しいけどな。I was probably someone important then. That seems like the sort of setup that it's going for. うん、I'm not sure I fully understood the concept there. ああ。俺たちは正気と呼んでいるが、そいつから身を守るための I swear this wasn't here previously. Is she a human? No, she's not. Oh, that's うん、クイーンスライアイテムスです。うん。兵士としても did he? I I may have just not caught it, but I don't know that he actually said who the queen was. Shokyo Hmm. Okay, so my blood also has the ability to revive those the missile plants, which means I'm probably either related to the queen or I have some sort of connection to Project Queen. Just based on what I know, I was I was assuming that she was probably related to her somehow. But now it's looking like it's more probably myself.
Does not sound like she is talking through a gas mask at all. Very high quality. His voice sounds sufficiently muffled. Well, maybe not. Mm. Yes, but they are very, very directly losing memories, much like in Dark Souls. Although, obviously, far more story focused. I did notice that my viewer count went up by one, so if you're able to chat, how's the sound levels for everything? I noticed there's been no complaint so far. <laughs> They had fun voicing that. Okay. Uh, I'm sort of assuming that they don't have additional dialogue. クイーンセンが終わって故郷に帰ろうとしたらこの霧だもの近づけば狂っちまうほどの痛みに襲われるおかげで誰もこの霧の向こうに行けないどこにも帰れないのよこの牢屋を出てもなんか、I'm okay, so assuming that's what the red mist is over there, the miasma. 変わりばしない景色よね。Okay, yes. Ah. Yes, that is a fairly large drop. I guess it makes sense why nobody has escaped yet. Well, I mean, they asked her to come. Ooh. Ah, oh, thank you. Ah, Moody. Hello there. Yes, I don't know. Oh. Oh. そうです。枯れてますから。こんな正気の中での探索は無茶です。ね、yes, Yes, you, you did not miss much in the first hour of this stream, if you are the viewer that came in recently, I am assuming. It was mostly character creation. Yes, it is unfortunate to report that there is only human skin colors. I got as close to a shade of green as possible. Okay. 
回収した血類と交換にな最近はここらにもハンターが出るそうだ全滅だけは勘弁してくれよさっさと行けえいっおい大丈夫かここから上に戻るのは無理か帰りは別の道を探さないとなあ俺オリバー・コリンズっていうんだよろしくなうん He seems nice enough Yes now that I'm thinking on it it might be possible to Let's see I would like to switch back to this It may be possible to use face paint to make yourself green. I might have to test that. All right, I don't think there's anything I need to do here. Let's see, as for weapons. Wow, how specifically named. That's far too ornate. Just call it an iron pipe. Right. And I don't have things that I had in the tutorial. Right. This just casually explaining things to me as I transform my arm into a death claw. And I guess that's the backstab animation. That's a uh, a bit extreme. Also, there's no combo out of what is it? There's no combo with heavy attacks. That's unfortunate. It's just flat swings. Those look breakable. And they were. Using an upgrading. Yes, okay. Hmm. The hotkeys in this game were not designed with keyboard and mouse in mind. I'm assuming that's death down there. An ornate chest. An axe. Right, I won't be using that. Mm -hmm. yeah. The caster play style seems to be very simple. I wonder if there will be more elaborate spells. Also, how does poise work in this game? Every single hit of mine seems to stun the enemies. But probably not if they have shields. Right, get in there, Oliver. I'm the ranged character. Come on. Are you... Are you going to do anything? Apparently you have to wait for me to get attacked first. Alright. Well then. Uh, I assume if I try and open that chest I get attacked immediately. Oh, okay, you can't just change your targets. You have to deselect and then reselect. Wonder what is the secondary bar above their health? It flashes whenever they get hit. But it doesn't seem to mean anything. Bayonet. I assume that's better than whatever I have equipped. And it's actually usable. Ah, right. 
You can only scroll up to change weapons. いや、大丈夫って。説得力ないよね。このマスク旧式だからかな。ちょっと息苦しくて。君こそ大丈夫。ああ、Huh. Very good, Oliver. You can actually attack on your own. I can. Oh, what are you? That is a nightmare. Right then. Oh, okay. It is a nightmare. I guess I was accurate in my initial assessment. Just the bone slimes from Dark Souls. Okay, what is an Awake MJ018? I'm assuming that means something. Oh, I just realized this game has a mini map. That's interesting. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So in order to get maps, you actually have to find control points. You aren't given the map. Good. Okay. Oh. Accidentally healed myself despite not taking damage. Wonderful. Okay, what was that? Blue Hounds. This changes... Many stats that I... Don't understand yet. I will equip it anyways and hope that it's better. Ah, and here's the first this door cannot be opened from this side shortcut. I feel like the sensitivity is a bit too high. It's better than that than being too low. Ah, that's why they don't go off attacking, so that you can land sneak attacks. Ah, interesting. Also, I expected that to be far more difficult. Hmm. Although, I guess it's to be expected. He was guarding nothing. Let's see. What is it? Yes. Okay, so it's not a toggle for the run. It is a hold command. I wonder if that's also changeable. Hmm. <laughs> How comedically dramatic. <laughs> hmm. So, so that means that he is going to die then. I can read between the lines. Hmm. Oh. <sighs> okay, maybe I shouldn't have bound use item to E. <laughs> Okay. I think maybe... Oh, okay, there's an enemy right there. I don't think he's noticed me yet. So, control settings. 
Let's put that on F. I don't think that overrode anything. All right. Oh, I, I did it again. Okay. That is a obscenely long parry animation, though. Yeah. I wonder. Oh. I would like to be able to parry in this game. Okay. That seems like it's probably a lot louder than the rest of the game, it feels like. Ah. It's not very easy to sneak in this game. Ah. This is a strong one, then. Oh, dear. Okay, there are rolling attacks. Good. They're all very wide attacks. You'd expect a bayonet to be a stabbing attack. For some reason, it's just a, a wide sweep. You're gonna just hit them with the barrel of your gun doing that. Hello. You're overexcited. And incredibly easy to stun lock. I expected a bit more from you. Hello? Can you see me? Should I make the first move then? Alright. Ah, and you are less easy to stun. Oh. This is oppressively loud. Okay, good. I thought it was going to last forever. Perhaps my volume is just too high. Right. I am enjoying getting to explore something that I am unfamiliar with. Ah, that's a good sniper spot. Oh, no. It is a very nostalgic feeling being able to explore a new world in the same, I guess, vein as Dark Souls, but in an entirely new game. Yes. Alright, I need, I need to turn the volume down. That is far too loud. All right, there we go. I don't think that should have affected the volume on the viewer's side. Oh, hey, there was someone inside of that. Wonderful. Okay, so it looks like just common weapons have the most ostentatious names. I am very low health. I believe that... Okay. Well. I have plenty of ranged options. Oh. Why'd you go flying off in that direction? Yeah. So I, I really don't have to... Engine extension factor. Does that permanently improve it? Or is it a temporary upgrade. Oh, well. Medicine that permanently increases the number of times regeneration can be used. Can I use this now? I can. And I will. Alright. I 
have sort of just been exploring the back lines. I need to go back to where I started so that I can... Oh, I was going to say so that I can map this area out in my head, but I have a map that's already doing that for me. Also, I missed an item, so that's fortunate. Yes. Is there any way to enlarge the map? Oh, another new item. A dagger. Ah, uh, it looks like those are throwing items. Ah, uh, the gun is actually far more short range than I would have thought. It's shorter range than the spells, even though it's essentially a gun that fires a spell. Alright. Come on. I don't want to go any nearer you than I have to. Why are all the bad guys wearing bondage gear? It seems like an unusual aesthetic choice. Hmm, that's probably... Maybe a Black Knight equivalent down there? I do hope I don't aggro anything up top. Well, time to kite. Oh no, it's not. It's uh, it's fairly weak. I had higher hopes for you, my friend. Oh, no, oh, that's why. Hmm. I wonder if the poison will kill me in this game. Oh. Well, better get back to an area where I can easily retrieve anything that I lose. Hello, friend. Watch as I die right in front of you. Hmm. Alright, back to work. As if nothing ever happened. What did I lose, and how does the retrieving process work? There's my stuff. I lost some haze. Alright, there's no point in going back there, yet at least. Oh. Items are not very easy to see in this game. I will say that. So this gun is deceptively short-ranged. Oh dear. Let me let me get a backstab on you, please. That's all I want. No. Alright. Guess I'll just kite you from a distance. What is that? Does the gun have some debuff on it? Perhaps? It's unclear. Hmm. Well then. Back down. Oh. But first... I wish it was possible to change your lock-on targets without disengaging the lock-on. Come on. There's so much to do. I do really wish this stabbed instead of slashed. Oh, and I also wish the range was more apparent. It feels like the slash is a couple... like... almost like a foot short of where it actually ends. Alright, let's go. Oh, the backstab angle is a bit specific. And also the animation takes a very long time. Okay. So I'm assuming you can see them on the ceiling. Yes, you can. Okay, so how far do I have to go to bait them? This far? No? Can I just... Okay, I can already just hit them with my spells. He's 
easy enough. Why did that not target it? There we go. Okay. I'm going to have to wait a little while before targeting things with spells. Vivifier, what are you? Oh, I should probably be taking a look at these. Hmm. Yes, that would have been useful. Or no, that's what I already am using to heal. Okay, I thought it was something else. Is it? No, I don't think it is. Yes, there's there's a regeneration. There's also a regeneration capsule. Hmm. Interesting. That increases icker. Dagger for throwing. I don't particularly need that when I have a gun and spells. Okay, that's a pathway marker. Mm -hmm. That is the dark sign. Just to return to the last missile. That is a homeward bone. something else that has no Dark Souls equivalent. Stun resistance. Ah, and it just keeps that at zero. Interesting. And that's uh, a soul item. Okay. Interesting. None of them had very detailed descriptions. Nothing to do with lore. Ah, I did pick up several new weapons, though. I picked up many lost broadswords, but I guess they all collapsed into a single entity. Oh no, there's three of them. There's a little number there that tells you. Hmm. It seems like an odd choice. I wonder if I can sell these later then. I guess there's, uh, there's no specific details on it either. What do swings with this look like? I do like the vertical startup. That's very convenient. I'm also going to have to start looking up just to make sure that there aren't any enemies. Also looking to the sides. Oops, that does a fair amount more damage than I thought it would. Now then, let's get you down. Come now. Short range. And dead. Now then, let's deal with you. Oh. How odd, the angle was exactly the same, but it hit the floor. I'm just going to kill you the normal way. Much better position than I was the last time. Ah, how convenient. My ally is no longer with me, so he can't see me activating missile by bleeding on it. Now oh, then. What does leveling cost? Okay, it's the haze. I knew that, but I was wondering how much it cost. Ah, and it's just a, a flat stat increase. There's no points to distribute. Seems that way. I'll go up to level four then. Mm. Yes. Now I can get that back from the tutorial. Gift. Now then, that's the default ability I've been using, but what is this? The drain rating. I don't know what focusing means. Well, focus. There's a whole bunch of information. I am unfamiliar with. Oh, then. 
Ah, I guess I already respawned the enemies behind me by resting there. Now then. Ah, I see. Oh. Ah, here's the weapon drain. Ah, it's a passive ability. I see. Is there an in-game encyclopedia that tells me what weapon drain is? I assume it's similar to the rally system from Bloodborne. But if I'm not certain, I would like to be. Oh, I don't see it. I don't want to waste too much more time looking for it. You seem like you're alive. But you aren't. Red herring. I assume you're friendly? Yes? Not in particular, no. Um, it's something that I sort of assumed. It, I, I try and accentuate it. This is how I do talk normally, but... I tend to be a lot slower when I'm focusing on what I might be attempting to say, which could potentially lead to a more soothing or relaxing tone to my voice. May as well take the assistance. Interesting, he disappeared, only to reappear again. And this is giving me... Shortcut vibes. No? No, it's just into an optional area, it looks like. I'll explore that route later. Oh, no, it's just an alternate entrance. Okay. Interesting layout design. Backstabs are very difficult in this game, apparently. Ah, I forgot I switched around the, uh, the spell settings. Yes, most of my favorite VTubers have a chill aesthetic. Oh my. Hmm. Oh. Interesting. probably should have prepared more going into this. Ah. I don't like these large enemies, that's for certain. I'll just let you tank this guy, stranger. Don't worry. I guess I probably should have just been sticking to what my class is described as doing, which is supportive backline. Hmm. So I wonder what this alternate entrance was about. It doesn't seem to be particularly useful. Hmm. I did notice an item up on the higher ledge here. What do you do? Well-worn tool? Seems like a very casual insult. It's not in my inventory. I don't see it at the very least. Oh no, there are multiple pages. Okay. Ah, the awakes are upgrade materials. There we are. Hmm. I guess that is a vendor item, if I had to guess. Seems like it's given to a blacksmith or something. Hmm. 
Interesting. Ah. Hmm. I wonder, the follower NPC was optional, so yes, it looks like he isn't here to observe my miraculous abilities. Unless the game dictates that he followed me here anyways. Yes, no comment on that apparently. Oh, no, he does. I just had to move a little bit. Say blood echoes because it seems apropos for this game. Hmm. Okay, that's all I need to do there. The, the details of what? Just told me to fill you in on the details. What details? Is he very specifically talking about the thing that I did? I wouldn't think. An NPC named Stranger would have detailed input on what I'm doing in the game. It is very nicely detailed. Also, it stands out quite a lot. Very bright color. Feels like it was modeled separately from the rest of the machine that it's resting on. Yes, I, I sort of assumed that that would happen. Where was he, though? Is he up in the roof? Oh, yes. It looks like he must have jumped down. Oh, hello. Oh! Oh, that was my ally. You, you just appeared out of nowhere. Ah, oh, yes, Moody. I did stop by and watch a little bit of your uh, stream last night as well. Was it last night or was it the night before? I think it was last night. You were playing Phasmophobia in a collab. You also have a, a very, very nice sounding voice. Not, not just to repay the compliment. Yes. It was a lot softer than I was expecting. What with being a half orc. Ah, hello, large enemy. For some reason, these large enemies are also incredibly stealthy, despite their frame. Very, very consistently, too. I think everyone dislikes their own voice. I have a very difficult time listening back to my VODs. I need to keep looking up in this game. There are far too many enemies that drop on you from above. I also consistently forget there is a mini-map in this game. Hmm, this looks like a boss arena. Oh? Oh, yeah. 
there's the cutscene wall. Is his name Oliver? Yeah. I guess he's gone evil now. He had like one line of nice dialogue to endear you to him. Very unfortunate. Spikes coming out of the head is a good aesthetic. Alright. Uh, why can't... Oh. I guess I used all of my... What are they called? Blood codes? Getting to him? Ah. Oh. I never actually fully understood how you regain them, but it's just by attacking. I thought you had to land viscerals or backstabs or whatever. Not entirely sure what they're called. Also, I guess Stranger is canonic. Uh, canonic. Oh, uh, you look substantially less cool now. Although I guess it explains why the soft boy is, was using a giant hammer. And he's turned into a, a big. Batman. His weapon choice makes slightly more sense. Uh, that is a very dangerous ability. Why? Please tank aggro, stranger. There's only so much I can do. Collins is surprisingly easy. I guess not all first bosses must kill you instantly. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Yes, the the harsher voices do suit the orcish bloodline a bit more. But I do particularly like softer voices. Hmm. Looks like some atmospheric dialogue might not be translated. had a very nice effect on his eyes. Also, the eye customization in this game is absolutely insane. I was able to almost perfectly capture my eyes. Huh. And now I'm in London. It's the only thing I can think of when I see a street lamp like this. And wrought iron fences. Feel like I'm in Alice in Wonderland. Oh, 
剣がなければ俺たちは。数少ない人間のほとんどがシルバの管理下にある。俺たちのようなノラのレブナントは死に物狂いで血類を探す。I am, I am enjoying this game so far. 他のレブナントを犠牲にし I don't know that it's up to the standards of Dark Souls, but I would, I would rate it fairly highly. I've not played too many Souls like games, but this is definitely the best among them. I do wish the lady in white would put on more clothes. Wait, why do you guys get to see this? I thought this was happening in my head. I mean, I guess she sort of makes sense. She seems to have some form of connection with me. Oh, my cat has come to visit. Come on. There we are. I have a bed set up for my cat directly next to my computer, so come, sometimes he comes to sit next to me. may hear kneading or purring sounds. Now,今の一体…記憶…あの血液に刻まれていた持ち主の…まさか…俺も一緒に引き込まれると… <laughs> Ah, I think he probably came expecting food. I normally feed him in about an hour from now. He normally bothers me earlier than that. You gonna get a name? Can I stop calling you stranger soon? There we go. That was fast. Ask and ye shall receive. Hmm. He was such a soft boy, yet his code was a berserker. Interesting. This loading screen is taking a fair bit longer. Normally my PC is capable of loading quite a bit faster than that. ひどい景色だろう。クイーンに勝利した後、突然現れた赤い霧。あの霧の出現によって、あらゆるものが閉じ込められ、シルバが君臨するレブナント社会が誕生した。霧の牢獄霧に閉じ込められたこの世界はいつしかそう呼ばれるようになった血を求めて危険な正気の中を歩き回り何度も死に戻りながら血類を探していく毎日レヴェナントの血が出てきたあの化け物 He's obviously falling from the top of the item to the bottom, but it was sideways. Hmm. 
さざ波を立ったお前は正気を晴らし鉄類の泉を再生させたな<笑>どこでその力を手に入れた Silent characters attempting to communicate is very amusing. Mesrasino Hotondo no Kyoko Shinato Kanojo Mosoda Taka Shibaraku Yukri Sutoi Kokoa Skinitz got the g r e All right. Hmm. So I remember seeing a bit of footage from the demo. Where you could re customize your character in this hub location. So I would like to try and put some green face paint on if possible. You look like a character customization lady. Or you could be. What is his name? Stockpile Thomas. That's it. Yes, you are. Oh, you're a shop owner at the very least. Okay. Finish your tutorial before you perform any tasks, I understand. Ah, interesting. It's a note just for me. Oh my. If I'm remembering correctly, God Eater has very good music. But I am very afraid of copyright if I attempt to, to play any of it. An enthralling magazine. Can I read that? Is the sitting jet. Oh. That is very aesthetic. This game does have a camera mode. Perhaps I will. When I'm. Oh, oh! Yeah, just zoom in there, why not? It's a very choice angle the game chose. レーブなんとってのは何かしら腹に一物抱えてるもんだ。おかしな真似はしないでくれよ。ルイとの話が落ち着くまではしっかり監視させてもらうぜ。レーブなんとってのは何かしらおかしな真似はしない。Imagine you're only defining characteristic as being someone else's friend. Like, none of the ladies in this game wear very much clothing, do they? この拠点で探索のサポートを受け負っているんだ。よろしくね。ちょっと事情があって一緒に戦うことはできないけど、武器の手配や調整に関しては責任持ってやらせてもらうから。Hmm. Oh my. You look very much like a paladin. Oh my god. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do it. 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 Is this the Sundere tough guy? No, no, I don't. I'm gonna steer clear of the music box. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Can I stop training? Yes, I can. Okay, I thought that would be an item to pick up, like the... What was that? Did the door just appear? Was that what that effect was? No? Where did that smoke come from? I'm very confused. Alright. Let's see. I'm just going to put everything into levels for now. I don't understand the other governing mechanics of this game, so... I'm not going to worry about it for now. If it was important, they would have explained it by now. Ah! Here we are, a just appearance. 
Now I'll finally be able to see. Let's see, Scars and Ether, I believe it would be under. Yes, I did remember seeing this. Uh, and I thought that it was very odd. Is there a way to adjust the color? This looks like it's what I'm looking for, for full face paint. Although I do have a fully exposed clavicle that it would very apparently not be green. Hmm. Perhaps I want no scarring? Because there is a separate face paint category. Let's see here. Uh, this this game was not designed with with a mouse in mind. No, there's no full face paint. Ah, uh, no, wait. There are other other sections. Hmm. These are patterns. What the. What even are these? They're obviously logos for something, but I don't recognize it. Oh, you can have a, a waifu stamped on your face. No full face paint. That is surprising. I guess if you take multiple of these, can the size be adjusted? Advanced editing. Oh, it's already at maximum size. Hmm. Well then, I guess I'll just see what happens if this is turned green. Darker shade of green, please. Fine. Let's see, let me look in the mirror real quick to determine the correct color. Hmm, this seems... About right. Oh, select, please. No, that's too dark. Oh, it's because it's not the same one. That seems about right. So I can get a fox facsimile of uh, my orcish skin color. But nothing specific. Which is, or not specific, but all-encompassing is what I meant to say. So I can just cover my face in multiple layers of green paint. Let's see right around there then. And it was in time. This one. Yes. Yes. All right. Well, I found a workaround. Not a very good workaround, but the best I have. Back to line. Select the same color. And move it down. Come now. Further down. There we are. Alright. This is, uh... As close as I can get. <laughs> uh, yeah. I am very confused as to why there is no color editing for scars. That seems like something that would be fairly standard. Is there... It seems to be a symmetry toggle. Yes. No. How unfortunate. Yes, okay. And there wasn't anything under makeup. No, makeup is... specifically just eyelashes for some reason. There's nothing under accessories. All right. Save. Hmm. 
All right. No, oh, I, I don't want any more of this to be taken up by character customization. I already had a good 30 minutes earlier in the stream, but now I have a green face. Is not quite the level that I wanted it to be at. I'm assuming this is a room that I have been given and I am not wandering into someone else's room whose bed I can simply lie in. And there's a downstairs. Okay, no, I guess. Yeah, I can just lay down in anyone's bed. Let's see. Should probably talk to Lewis first. But. That would probably lock me into a mission and I wouldn't be able to explore. I assume some sort of NPC will move down here so that it isn't a completely pointless dead-end basement. Hmm. 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 Ah. Maybe not. Let's, let's not go in there. Do you have anything to say, Lady in White? Oh. Oh, that was nice. Okay, so that's an I, not an L. Oh, wait. There's already an EO in the VTuber community. I wonder if she's played this game before. They don't seem to be doing much. Very loosely draped. They don't seem to have any blood on them. I guess that would sort of... Yeah. Make you the lady in white and potentially a very small amount of red. But they're very loosely draped. They aren't compressing anything. You should probably rewrap them. Hmm. This is such an integral character. I wonder why they even gave you the option of allowing him to follow you. Mm. Oh, this is my room. Wow. I'm guessing that's Eo's room then, since it's the only other one open to me. Uh, I'm not sure I'm agreeing with this face paint. I sort of just look like Jim Carrey's The Mask. I wonder, are there different poses for laying down? Or is this all you get? Is there a pose selection button? No? Doesn't look like it. Okay, there we go. My box... Uh, my box has writing on it. It looks like it's just in cursive. I wonder what it says. Looks like it is potentially legible. Probably have to get a model viewer to look at it up close. Although, I'm assuming it, it doesn't say anything. Just looks potentially legible. Wait, I actually just forgot what I was doing. He told me to go sleep. Okay, I could just go back to Lewis then. <laughs> Mm. Yep. 
レベナントには人間とは異なる特殊な血液型があるその方が力の特性や能力の方向性に大きく関わっているお前の血に特定の方というものが存在しなかった正確には壊れていたとも言うべきかお前の持つ得意な力も特定の型を持たないいわばボイド型とも言うべき地に起因していると考えられるお前は以前俺と共に倒したレブナントの力を血液から手に入れたのその現象もこのボイド型ゆえの力 You just discovered this new type of blood and you're already saying it's a trait unique to it? You are jumping to conclusions very quickly, my friend. What do you mean supposing? It's a definition you created for me, wasn't it? Well, and if this functions in the same way, you better be comfortable with me rooting through your memories. I guess it doesn't function in the same way. Well balanced and fragile. Interesting. I wonder how often you're expected to switch between these. Do the different types get more powerful, or is it simply more options? Ooh. The reflection effects are not sticking to my body very well when I rotate the camera. Also, these people have very distinct names. We have Lewis, which is very classical American. We have, what was, it, what was her name? Murasama, which is very Japanese. Although she looks the least Japanese out of anyone with bright orange hair. Murasame. And we have Coco, which is, I guess, a much more modern American name. I don't know. It doesn't really have a particular nationality to it. I guess anyone could be called a Coco. Hmm, I feel like I'm too static when I play games. I don't move my head very often. I'm not taking full advantage of my medium. Well then, what do you have to upgrade? Oh. I've forgotten what blood... Ah, it's the coats that I'm wearing, of course. Let's see. What is upgrade using the clean iron? All right. I'm not a very big fan of the one that I have on right now. Let's see. I'm also not sure which weapons I'm going to remain attached to for very long. And obviously not the pipe. Okay, everything requires Queen's Iron. Got it. I don't I don't see why it has such an ostentatious name. Why is it called Pipe of Thraldom? Why isn't it just called the Iron Pipe? You don't have to be that extra. I think I would like to upgrade the bayonet. It's a good use in combination with my spell casting. I think I will stick to a spellcaster type class. Yes. 
I'll just upgrade it once. Transform equipment. What does this do? Ah, it's the... It's infusing. Interesting. Venom light. Okay. Well, that's something to explore later. I don't necessarily have the required game knowledge to work out what's best there. Oh, can I not sell things to you? Okay. What do you have to sell? Only things that I already own. And blood veils? Ah, you have quite a few. Interesting. Hmm. Ah. I guess these are holiday items. I'm very tempted to purchase these just to see what they look like. They aren't very expensive. Oh, that one's expensive. Why is that one... S Whoa. But I have blue hounds. I own that one. Why is it so expensive? I guess the holiday items are just extremely cheap. And they're better. In almost every aspect. By a fairly decent margin, too. I'm not going to lift, look a uh, gift blood veil in the mouth. Alright then. Festive spear. Ah, it's not manifesting. I need to enter the training mode to see what it looks like. Oh. It's not that bad. It's a bit shiny for my tastes. And it completely covers up the clothes that I spent, like, five minutes customizing. Ah. I would like to see what the backstab looks like, please. The parry looks fairly good, though. And its animation is fast. I'll keep it as is. And it is blanket better than what I already had, so why not? Ah, you're probably the one that I can sell things to. Yes, you are. Alright, I can offload some of my extra swords. Oh, can I not offload some of my extra swords? Because that would be unfortunate. I don't think I can. Can I sell them at the blacksmith? Exchange. Ah. Okay. Hmm. So if I give her these, then I get points that potentially go towards something better. I may as well give her some of them. Hmm. Um. Okay. Okay, so it did give me trading points. She just called me terrible at business. I assumed I did something wrong. Alright. Now then. I'll probably just take the stamina booster. What does the gift accelerator do? Uh, it's a temporary use item. 
let's see. Portability. They're both temporary items. Highly valuable material from a special ore. I think I'll just save up for the Mercury Chrome. I don't like temporary items. Unless they're easy to come by and being a very specific item, you can receive a limited number of times using a resource that is difficult to obtain. Does not seem like an easily replenishable resource. What basic items do you sell, though? I could probably use a Venom Cure, seeing that I've already died to it once. But I think I'll just stick to healing. I'm only really good at using consumable items in a game that I'm familiar with. Not knowing how many resources it's going to take to replenish. It's very difficult. Yeah, I think I'm going to take this green face paint off. いきのこった人間の多くがシルバに保護されたため、レブナントは血の大体物である血流を飲むことで血の乾きを癒してきた。だが形あるものはいつか必ず壊れてしまうように血流を生み出す泉もまた枯れていき。いや、<笑> It's just the right shade, too. Very unfortunate. Unfortunately,俺たちは霧の牢獄を探索し、血類の研究を続けてきたが、レブナントをさらなる上に誘う正気の存在が調査の進展を阻み、頭を悩ませていた。だが。ようやく可能性が見えた。お前の力があれば過酷な戦いに。ああ、I <笑> Why don't you have a name, Lewis's friend? Are you going to die soon? It seems like something that someone would die soon would, would have no name. That's probably a functional sentence somehow. Oh, okay. Every time I question that, I get a name shortly afterwards. Why is there such a vast mix of names? Although I guess he does look like he's, uh... Mas Masamun? Yes. It was an M-something name that was very similar to the Japanese swordsmith. I guess they are probably siblings. They look very similar. So it makes sense that they both have Japanese names. いわば地脈のようなものが地中に張り巡らされていること。次に、あらゆる泉は必ずこの地脈の上に群生している。That's an interesting system. そして、血類と地脈の成分を比較検証した結果、ほぼ同じ成分で構成されていることが判明した。要するに血類の泉は。Mm. So I'm not very familiar with Final Fantasy, but that seems very similar to the life stream. From, from what I know about it. Or just lay lines and... Yeah. Standard.
Hmm. It looks like my frame rate's a bit choppy right now. It seemed fine at the beginning of the stream. I wonder, should I reduce the quality in some way? Yeah. Yes, I'm looking at it and it seems... not the best. Sorry, I was standing still and looking off at my other screen. Okay, what am I doing now? Am I talking to Lewis again? No. I'm going to the missile. Okay. And I assume I'm going back here. 83% done? Yes. Feel very festive right now. Antara mo kono hen wo tansaku shiteru no ka. Ora wa gyosho nin de na tansaku shi nagara shikou hin wo uri aruiteru da. Kokora wa saikin shouki ga usuku natta daro. Abune to omoi tsutsu saguri ni kichimatta yo. Shigashi tansaku shi to deau nante hisabisa da na. Kora mo nani ka no en da. Hitotsu shinsou no chizu wo yuzuro. Don't I just map things out by myself? Also, you just gave me a map? You're a terrible businessman. Ah. So I can buy parts from him to give to Coco. So I give him rare materials to give someone else rare materials to get rare materials from them. I feel like there's an unnecessary step here. Ah, I'm assuming that's a similar system to the Chalice Dungeon. Alright then. Is there any way to... Bring up a full screen map? That is not it. Oh, what did I just do? I, I think I. Ah, oh, I used a healing item. That's what I just did. Uh, this is the starting point, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is. So then that means that I want to go to the left of the merchant. Whose name I have forgotten. What was it? Wang? Shang. Okay, I was one letter off. He also has a, a very different name from everyone else. I'm not too much of a language expert, but it seems like it could vaguely be Chinese. So we have very classical American names in Lewis. We have very Japanese names in the two that I can't very specifically remember right now. Oh, that was a, a bit of lag there. Uh, and we have Shang, which is a potentially Chinese name. I'm still not familiar with it. I guess Lewis could also be a, a British name, but I I just think classical American when I hear it. Oh, oh, it's probably because of my way of pronouncing it. If I said Louis, that would be a very British name, but if it's Lewis, that's American. I believe they're spelled the same. I, uh, sort of expected to run into an enemy by now. What was the point of all that? That was just a 
long walk full of absolutely nothing. You're very good at bleeding on command. Oh, I forgot to take off the face paint. I still look like a clown. That was a very I'm going to betray you later laugh. I guess it's a good thing that I took the, the mask casing that covers the entirety of my neck. I'll be your errand boy, fine. If only it came up a bit higher on the side. Alright. <sighs> oh, right. He's coming with me. I forgot. He just so simply asked me to just go explore by myself, and now he's coming with me anyways. Communal gifts. Hmm. Interesting. Faded comics. I wonder if... I mean, it's obviously the same icon as... Uh, was it the enthralling magazine? Or enthralling novel? So they seem to have the same purpose. But now that I've picked up another item with a... An equivalently generic name, I'm assuming that they're just trade-in items and they don't actually have anything to them. What is that? Is that a remnant? Looks like it. Am I just going to get another set of abilities already? No. Right, I assumed not. That would, that would be kind of ridiculous just to have off an average side path. Thanks for the preemptive buff, buddy. Whoa, hello. I wanted to parry to see what it looked like, but uh, I'll just stay back and let him deal with the physical attacks. Whoa. I just forgot what my parry button was for a second. There. That's fine. I'm very used to my ranged attacks being on mouse four from... Ah, yes. Oh, it looked like that enemy also attempted a parry. Alright, look around corners. Anything around dead ends. Oh, there's one guy. Yeah, Lewis can just teleport. I guess I thought I thought he was lagging when he did it earlier. But no, it's it's a legitimate teleport. Also, I forgot that my abilities have cooldowns. Ah, I thought his health would appear above his name, but it's actually above my health on the left hand side of the screen. Aha, uh -huh. hello, enemy. Thank you for regenerating my ability. Whatever it's called, I, I honestly forget. Oh. That attack timing is... a lot slower than I thought it would be. I'd appreciate if they attacked faster, honestly. It would make the parry timing wait. Oh. Okay. I'm just not even gonna attempt to parry. Oh, that is a very slow animation. Also, I did that completely by accident. Oh, I thought that said fairy cologne. Oh, I'm looking at my stream right now. That is unwatchable. I'm very sorry. Unless that's just on my end, let me know about the frame rate, because that looks absolutely terrible. I 
think I might have to lower the bit rate. They are just everywhere, aren't they? Around every corner. Yeah, I thought so. really should remember to let Lewis take the front lines. Alright, I'll probably just finish up... I don't know, I don't actually know what finish up an area means. Oh. Wish that had subtitles. Yeah. Yeah, I will continue playing for as long as I feel like this stream can handle being at five frames a second. Oh, their attacks are incredibly delayed. But sometimes they aren't. Lewis, please help. There's two enemies and two of us. I would expect you to be around when I need you. Did you kill the other one? Good. If you're coming to help me fight the one that I was already performing a visceral attack on, I would hope you killed the one that you set off to fight on your own. Yes, I did see an enemy around the corner. Hmm. I need to pay attention. How much of my oh blood miasma do I get for performing a successful backstab? Because if it's okay, it's a it's a lot. Also, I have. Very low health. Ah, I'm running backwards. I would like to at least reach the next... Oh. I say I would like to reach the next bonfire, and then I see this guy. Right. Oh. Oh, this lady. Never mind. Uh, very... Prominently... Just keep a good distance from you. Come now. Okay, I would prefer not to die here. Lewis, you... Oh, I thought that was her charging up for, for an attack. Ah. Uh, Lewis, you can revive me, right? Ah. ah, how many times can he do that? Or is it, I, I noticed a cooldown bar going above his name, so I'm assuming that it's a timed ability? In which case, he can revive me forever, as long as... I don't die too quickly. Oh, I was hoping I was going to find another bonfire, or whatever they're called here. Missile. Missile plants. Oh, <laughs> あの女、どこに逃げやがっ
You look like a mini boss. Oh. Or maybe just an annoying NPC. Because there is a missile plant directly behind him. Ah. I guess EO is a human then. Is my main guess. Because she said she was wounded and she's wearing bandages. そっちは大丈夫か。さて、どうするよ。このままじゃあいつが人間を見つけるのも時間の問題だ。答えは決まってる。オッケー。化け物に食われてないことを。I okay. don't know why this would be her blood specifically. But he did specifically mention that Lewis for some reason smelled like a human. Oh. I'm probably not meant to know at this point. All right. Well then, with that very dramatic plot revelation, potentially, I'm just going to head back to the base and end the stream for now. I'll have to look into lowering the bitrate, or perhaps I've just been streaming too long and my ISP is starting to throttle. Whatever the case, I'll see if I can't improve my stream by the next time I stream this, possibly tomorrow, possibly the day after. Probably the day after, but who knows. All right, well then, uh, thanks for coming along, Moody. It was great to have you, as well as the couple other people that seemed to pop in from time to time. I don't particularly have my own outro. Uh, never really been necessary up until this point. But I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.